Hello again, Toolplays viewers. It has unfortunately been another month, which means both good and bad things. Uh, good things being it's January, so the January loot crate has showed up. Bad things, it's been a month, so I haven't actually put up any videos between then and now. Sorry about that. However, as I mentioned, it's January, so the January loot crate got here. You might not be able to tell, but this is a lot bigger than the normal loot crate, a lot taller. So they didn't actually, they weren't able to fit it in my mailbox. It had to actually sit on the front porch. So let's open it up and see what's different. See what makes this different compared to the other ones. And I'm immediately kind of excited. Okay, so the, the theme for this month is launch. This is the January 2014 crate. I'm not even going to open that until I absolutely need it. Because first off, the Star Wars Galactic Phrasebook and Travel Guide. That's pretty exciting. It's got some illustrations in it. It's got, well, that's just a cute little book. It's got lots of uh, interesting words and phrases and things from different languages throughout the Star Wars universe. That's a cute little book to add to the collection over there. Additionally, this month, we have another Pop Heroes Funko type figure. This one in particular is the Superman figure, vinyl figure. Uh, definitely a big fan of these things. I've got a couple of them now in the background. The ones that I probably would like to pick up at some point and just haven't done it yet are the ones related to Game of Thrones because I am I'm a very big fan of Game of Thrones. I haven't read all the books yet. I've started the first one and made it most of the way through it, but I just I love the feel of the pop figures, the Funko figures, and this is the new style uh, Superman. It's uh, I guess Superman Returns Superman, and then I look on the box and it says it's the Man of Steel Superman, so I, I like the outfit, I like the build quality and construction. Vinyl figures are just, I love the way that they feel, so this will go very nicely on the shelf in the background. Looking at the shelf, I've actually got to do some cleanup on it in the near future. Moving right along though, this is kind of exciting and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. A NASA patch. Maybe I can try to figure out a way to stitch it onto one of my ridiculous amount of backpacks I have up on the shelf there in the background. NASA patch is always very, very cool though. Additionally, we have here a Star Wars pocket model trading card game. Four to eight pocket models and six game cards. I uh, suppose this would be a little bit more useful if you actually played the game, but if it has buildable, car buildable uh, models inside of it and it appears that it will, that should be pretty useful. It says two to eight players, so maybe it's actually the entire game. Six game cards, that's not going to be an entire game. This is just a an expansion pack for a card game. Uh, so let's see what's inside of it. We might as well, right? All right, so we have the game rules, just in case you want to play the game. Some game cards, including snow troopers and troops and Jedi defense. Very cool, very nice looking cards. Unfortunately, I have not played any trading card games for many, many years now. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny D6 dice. These will go very nicely in my little dice box, although they'll probably disappear very, very quickly. And as far as the actual items here, I'm not going to open this because I don't want to lose those dice, but I see the Eclemator uh, class transport ship that I can build, and then an X-34 Division AAT. Yeah, there's just a bunch of little Star Wars figurine type things that I can build, little units. Not sure if I'll do that or not, probably. Moving right along though, we have a little decal. Um, it's like a vinyl sticker, a wall, wall decal. Uh, the Federation logo and a melting Rubik's Cube. That's very cool. And a button, first in space, January 2014 launch. I saw something about Loot Crate getting launched into space, so that's awesome, but with, as with pens, I don't normally use them, so that's kind of gonna sit there. And I would say last but not least, this is kind of exciting. It is a Minecraft 2014 16-month calendar. I, again, I normally don't use calendars. This will probably end up on my, my cube wall at work. And let's just open it up and take a look at some of the graphics inside of it. Get rid of all this cardboard. Oh, Steve at sunset. There we go. And then we've got some actual artwork done by JB Drawing. And some, yeah, there's just a lot, you know, of course there's 16 different months worth of artwork from just different people in the community, I would presume. And looking on the back, you can kind of see all of them here. Uh, Mojang, Jinx, <laughs> copyright of Notch, printed on recycled paper. Very, very nice. This is a $7 calendar that came as a part of this. So all in all, realistically, not a bad box. Not the best that I've ever seen, but a Funko figure always makes the box a little better. Uh, a Star Wars book, I'm... A big fan of Star Wars, and of course putting 
uh, a book with translations and stuff. Actually, to, to stay in that same vein, but in a slightly different part of the genre, I have a Star Trek Klingon dictionary that I've always had in the background of the videos there. So you have the Star Wars pocket phrase guide conversation type book, and then the Star Trek Klingon dictionary. So very nice to have two sides of the coin, as it were. So yeah, overall, not a bad box at all. Hopefully I will have included some product photography with all of this so you can sort of see things up close and personal as I saw them. But that's going to be about all from me for today. I've got a lot of new games on Steam that I got over the holidays and over the, the winter sale that I'll hopefully be playing sometime soon. One of them I'm really looking forward to playing is called Brothers. It's a one player but two person game where you got, you know, one controller and you're controlling both brothers and doing things with them. It's sort of a puzzle game, but it's also sort of just a, a third person, uh, not really an RTS, it's, it's mostly puzzle and kind of strategy related. So it might be interesting to kind of play through some of that. But I think that's going to be about all from me for today. As you may have noticed, we've got a, a bit of an upgrade here. I'm using a new camera. This is the Canon 6D. Unfortunately, the audio is going to be slightly different as well because the 9 volt battery I normally use in my Rode video mic died. So I'm using a uh, Tascam external mic recorder. I normally pipe into that, this time I'm just using it, and it sounds pretty decent to me so far, so I might give that a shot for a little while. But that's going to be about all from me for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you like this video. Share it with your friends if you want to tell them all about Loot Crate. If you do decide to subscribe to Loot Crate, there will be a link down in the video description you can use. It just helps me get more Loot Crates for cheaper. I definitely wouldn't mind that. Thanks so much again, though, and I will see you again next time. Bye, guys.